Since n is in all three expressions in the compound inequality, we're going to separate the compound inequality into two separate inequalities. Now what we're going to do is just solve the inequalities individually, arbitrarily starting with the left hand side. What we're going to do is just subtract 3n from both sides, then subtract 3 and n solve for. And then again, do more algebra on the right hand side, solve for n. Now that they're both solved, we're going to go ahead and see how that and statement affects the solution set. And what it is, is you take the two solution sets from each individual inequality and take the intersection of those two solution sets. And it turns out that that just ends up being negative infinity to negative 2, including negative 2. And that's the answer.